What's up guys, I'm Ross Graham and welcome back to a brand new video and today, as you can see, we are going to be playing the map Classified. This is uh, a map where we are going to be playing as the Ultimus crew, slash 1.0 and uh, this is the map that takes place mere hours before 5. It's also the first, it was also the bonus map that was day 1 launch. Um, if you bought the Black Ops Pass you had this map and um, we're not going to sit through this entire cinematic because I've seen it once and that's enough because it is quite long <clears throat> but uh, this map like I said takes place within the timeline a couple hours before 5 happens um, that's all I can really think to say about classified uh, my highest round on here is 53, so let's see if we can either do that again or go higher. If not, then, ah well, it was just fun to uh, have a go at the map. And I'm a dumbass, I should be knifing these boys. I need to do that, and then, come here. There we go, get the most amount of points as possible. That's it. And then... There we go. Uh, the strife, we don't really need it. Okay, so, where do we want to go first? Well, first of all, I got out here is the box. Yes, it is. So we'll jump through here, and then we'll survive on this floor for a bit. Uh, we'll survive up here until we have enough money to A, hit the box, and then B, uh, go downstairs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find uh, all the parts on this floor. Uh, as we go, so there's one of them. <sighs> oh Christ, I wasted that. Oh. Hi. Why are dogs spawning? Train two! Yeah, but this map is really fun. I I really enjoy this map. Uh, obviously, because I had to get to round 53 and I had to go through that. It is quite a tedious map, you could say. And there's... Okay, so now we have part of the signal amplifier and the shield. So, if we kill a few more... Are you serious? I'm not taking a helium salvo. Nah. I ain't doing that. I'll hit the box again later. I'm not doing the helium salvo. I'm not taking a rocket launcher. I mean, it may do massive amounts of damage, but... It's too slow. It's too slow. It's not going to get me out of any, any sticky situations. Oh. Christ's sake. Whoa. Calm down. Jesus. Where are you running to? Now. Oh. Ah, overkill's ready. There we go. Honestly, half the time I don't understand how people uh, can commentate while playing zombies. Half the time I don't get it. Like, how? Simple monkey. Need a gun! Oh, 
Okay. Almost out of ammo, so we really need something. Spitfire. Okay, so now we can survive up here slightly longer. Uh, what do we need? 750 and then 500. Okay. Uh, right. Right, so let's at least get some amount of points. Okay, we have boosted our points. There we go. There. Boop. <laughs> you can just hear it. Oh, hi there. Come on. Oh, come on then. Now. Ding. I'm pretty sure, isn't there like an easter egg on this map where you can bother uh, McNamara? Okay, I think we have enough points to head down now to the war room. Yeah, we do it. There we go. We've still got a fair few left over. Thank God. Um, yeah, so I'm really enjoying zombies at the moment. It's it's really fun uh, currently. A lot of the community seems uh, dissatisfied with um, Black Ops 4. I think it's quite good. Uh, Especially with the invention of the casual. You know, it makes it a little bit easier for people like me who suck at zombies. You know, on, say, like, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, so on. So it gives us a chance to actually, you know, explore, do things, and feel like badasses. You know, so, I, I it's a welcome change. And I think, um, you know, the perk system and all that, while it's different, I think it's not bad. I don't think it's horrible or anything. I mean, Black Ops 4 is what got me to start taking zombies seriously and, you know, start kind of doing it more often. Because beforehand, I was uh, a filthy casual, where I just played zombies just to play it, I guess, and I never really played it a whole lot. I played Transit on Black Ops 2 with friends. That's, that's how bad it was. I didn't even buy DLC or anything, I just kind of played on the map uh, that was presented. What am I doing? Why am I opening up this? What I should be doing is opening this up so that I can then go in here. Where the hell's the button? There's. Right. <coughs> Let's get the stupid power on. Uh, oh. How happened to my view? It just. <laughs> my. My viewers seem, or my view seem to start just moving upwards. There we go, perfect. Power. And the last part of the shield. Right, so. Oh my god, that was a horrible noise. I hate that so much. Okay, so now that we have all the parts of the shield, I'll build it up here so that it's uh, uh, the easiest to access. So let's build the shield. Craft it, there we go. Now we have a shield. So, good progression already. Um, right now, if we can just you know, survive up here a little and then we head you know, back downstairs. Now. Yes, yeah, so that whole thing that I said about surviving up on the, that top floor, forget it. Not happening. We're gonna. You know, run to the war room. Uh, what would be best to do first? Probably server room because it's you know, furthest away. So what we're going to do is we're going to go get the next part of the signal amplifier that is in the panic room. Uh, so let's run all the way up. You know, and then let's do a, a victory lap. Because sure, why not? Right, then we hit that. Get out of the way. Oh. Grand. 
Oh my god. Just keep running. Just keep running. There we go. Run through. Oh god. This, this was the worst possible time to have run out of ammo. Right, part number two. Right, let's slide down. Yeah, I don't have my ideal perk set up right now. Oh uh, no, you... Ah! What? Dogs are a one-hit knife. What? I don't want to go up. I don't want to go to the panic room. Ah! This has got to be the worst beginning to the game. You've got to be kidding me on. Wait, hold on, how much is this? That's like 550. I'll need to take it. Just so that I have a gun to fight with. It seems as if it's got awfully dark in this room real quick. I was going to say, if that was a max ammo, I, I was going to die. Oh, the welling. I kept the welling. God damn it. That means all my box hits were for bugger all in the end. Quick five. Don't really need right now. Uh, what do I need to do? I need to go downstairs yet again uh, for the last part. Never mind. I'll stick here right now. Let's grab that. Why not? See, with the fog, it seems to get a whole lot lighter. Green Tiger. Yes. We have all the camos for the ICR done now. Marvellous. I thought I'd get it done on a dog round. God's sake. Horrible. That was a perfect time to level up while that song was on. Man, memories. What am I in here for? Oh, yeah. Okay, no. 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 Where the hell's the part? Ah, found it. Okay, so we now have all of the parts. Now while we're down here, we might as well camp here and get our perk. It's here as well. My god. What's with all the dogs? It's only round eight. I mean, Jesus. Like, what is with all these dogs? Ah, oh, yeah. Nova. Yeah. Here we go. Right, let's just cut through all of these guys. Oh, burn. Ah, uh -huh. Deadshot Daiquiri is only 300, like 300 points. Come on, give me points. Because then after we've got this, we never need to come down to this floor. Because if we want the Winter's Howl, we'll get it from the flipping box, because I ain't doing Project Scaddy Easter Egg. Or not really an Easter Egg. Kind of a side quest. Oh my god! Why does this seem so difficult? Right. Got it. Got it. I never have to return here ever again. Oh wait! Yeah I do! Crap. Unless I camp here for that perk as well. Do I want to do that? Do I want to camp here for uh, electric cherry? How much is it? Three. See, because I kind of want to be done with this floor. Bruh. 
growing. 2.4k, I guess we are camping down here for Electric Cherry. Then we got a quick revive from the thing. Okay, what I'm gonna do is camp here. That's my point. Ah, uh, there isn't. I'll put it. Oh wait, classified only has two benches. Bugger, we're gonna need to go in. Yep, other bubble bench. Right, quick, quick, quick. Come on. Right, and we take it. And that's us. Okay, now once we have electric cherry, we can be done. And thank God for that, because I don't want to have to spend a lot more time down here. Alright, on you go. On you go, attract them all. That just take. How much did that cost? I wasn't even looking at it. Okay, back in the war room. Kill you. Okay, now I have two of my perks. Bruise up the stairs. So that's all good. What was I doing? I was grabbing this. Nope, no, you don't. Yeah, I ain't doing Project Scaddy. I'm not. I'm not doing that. It's so dark in here, man. Why you gotta be like this? Why you gotta be so dark? Zombies. Why you do this? Okay. End of round. Finally. And Jesus, man. At least I'm not playing this two player because that'd be absolute hell on earth. Or even worse if you played with the with uh, four bots, that'd be the worst. Three bots, not four. Four player even. You do this with three other people, goddamn the the amount of zombies would be unbearable. Wouldn't that bottom floor pretty much be like unusable? Same with the top same with actually every floor. You would all have to be separated. And we're never, I'm not going for the cutscene either. I ain't getting 150. That's too, that's too long. I remember Terry trying to, said he was going for it. Yeah, that didn't happen. He, I'm pretty sure he quit out of boredom at some point or he died. I can't remember. I'm going to say he quit out of boredom to make him sound better. <laughs> I did say to him that he couldn't do it. The boy didn't me. Oh, I still have the welling. Should probably get rid of that in case I get into a no ammo situation. Box is still upstairs. So if I grab quick revive and then head up. Right, so if we take the elevator up, and uh, we survive on the top floor for a little bit until we get our perk, and then we're basically set. If when we get the winter's howl, we'll basically be be done. And from there, it's there on there on it. It's just point fest. Cord out, sure. Oh wait, I need to place down the thing and get packed. That's what it is. I thought I'd forgotten something. I knew it. Alright, wait for them to kind of crowd up. Whoop. Assholes. Come on. I have so much respect for the guys that go for like world records. I genuinely do because those guys sweat these maps out like mad. 
just for the chance of even holding a world record. Like, not even getting one, just trying to get it. Nah. Okay. Downstairs. Perfect, because the dog rounds just started again. So that's that. That actually works out. Just hold up here for dogs. God's sake. I'm glad it ain't Pentagon Thief. Hell yeah. <laughs> the most badass music that could ever bestow upon Black Ops. Access denied. 115 clearance necessary. Mama Rounds seem so dark down here. Don't they? Like, and then the labs get even darker. That my ass can barely see down there. Okay, so... Okay, I've got the reactive camo as well. Just absolutely ripping through it. Well, I was wondering what was happening on uh, El Gato there. Because it looked like it almost bugged out. It didn't. It was just the bullets. Ooh, get turned. Hey, get turned on. Let's go. Right, and what we'll do is we'll hit that. Right, go through here. And we'll jump. Right, we'll go down. And then jump into the pack. There we go. And now, if we just kind of... If we survive roughly... Actually, what I normally do is run up here. Because then, you, then you're using the, uh, the Obi-Wan tactics. You use what is called the Obi-Wan tactic and gain the high ground. See? Perfect. Level 18. Uh, what to pack first? Pack the ICR. And then... Whoa! What? He just spawned out of nowhere. He just jumped up in my face. Like what? Go away! And they all immediately turn back on me. I don't remember the zombies being this aggressive. Like, never on round 16, anyway. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm in Groom Lake. Like, is that it? Is it racist? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. 
Man, I hate those people that are just like, oh my god, <laughs> this says anything negative. Racism? It's like, no, it's not racism. Boom. So let's head back to the war room. See, once you've pretty much done everything, That's what I like. Oh, I've got enough to, to pack this again. Or, not again, to pack this. Right then. Or not. Uh, run, 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 run. Run to the spot, run to the spot. Bloody hell. I don't remember the game being this aggressive. Like with the dogs and the zombies and all that. Like, goddamn. I never remember. I don't remember it being like this last time I played. It's weird. It's almost as if the AI's been like buffed for no reason. Just find the way it was. Just leave it alone. Now, well, let's head back to Grim Lake. Throw that in, cause sure. Corpse Maker. Very original name. Well, I guess it does fit with the whole, you know, Cordite. You know, Corpse Maker. Makes sense, I guess. I don't know if I actually think about it. Fuck it off. Do y'all want to not? Whoa! What's this? I swear the AI should not be this aggressive so early on. I mean, damn. Like, what's this all about? See, Obi-Wan. I am the Obi-Wan. I'm the Obi-Hope. <laughs> I am the Obi-Hope. Jesus. Drone 20? I didn't even realise. Put that in so that it's got something on it, I guess. Doogity boom. Kilowatt. That's perfect. Let's get away. I run back. Need anything? No. Of course I don't. Oh my god. In there. <laughs> Just put them all into one corner. Perfect. How do you keep escaping? How do some of them keep escaping? No, 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 no. With this. That was pointless. Pointless. I'm just gonna end up keep going back to Grim Lake.
Maybe I'm running points too quick. And that's why I keep having to hit these switches like everybody round. Oh my god, first down. The first down of the game. Can't believe it. Round 21 as well. Bloody crap. See, this is what happens when you don't use the Obi-Wan. No, I'm about to go down again! Oh my god. It's because I keep losing all the bloody... It's because I lost the perks. Right, just run, run, run. Oh no, this game is going horrible. We've had two downs in a round. Like in the one round, we had two of our downs. And now we don't have any left, so if we go down again, we're gubbed. How did I make it to round 53? I swear the AI's been buffed. Just keep launching. Oh my god. Why is it this aggressive? It's playing it as if I'm like, unrealistic. I think. Now I actually tried out realistic. Nah, there's no point in that. Thanks, game. You really nice. No, thank you, game. Is this because I progressed so quickly? It's like, okay, this guy's too good. We need to bump up the difficulty a little bit. I don't think so. But, who knows? It's just a theory. Oh, wait. No perks. Go away. Go away. Guess we're doing this perkless. Ah, God. Oh, I leveled it up. No, it took away... It took away all the progress that I had on it because it leveled up. No, I want it back. Well, now I can just nuke the whole place, so. Yeah, man, there's no way we're, there's no way we're getting anywhere close to where my highest round is. No, 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 no. Ah, yeah. Like I said, there was no way we were getting anywhere near where my highest round is. Ah, oh, no. I don't even know how I survived around 53. I guess I just got lucky that game, maybe. Who knows? Anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed uh, this new this new uh, Black Ops 4 video uh, playing Classified, uh, a map that we haven't played on the channel yet. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed, and uh, be sure uh, to subscribe hit the notification bell, remember to like the video as well, and leave a comment down below saying what your favourite map in Black Ops 4 is. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.